So I would hope that all of you remember this device. It is the portable USB-C ONN SSD drive. It was advertised at having 400 read, 400 write speeds. It actually did on the four to five tests I did on the device. A little bit higher, around 412 to 415 read and write speed. So I decided that since this is being used for the MacBook Pro and a little bit of traveling between different devices, to go out and buy a bigger one, double the size, instead of 250 gigabytes, I got the 500 gigabyte for around 65 bucks at Walmart. Some people are going to say, well, you can buy a PNY full-size SSD for less, like 45 bucks to 50 bucks. I don't really care. I actually like having a portable smaller drive, even slightly smaller than a regular SSD. First thing I have to do on my Mac Pro 2013 is download the Blackmagic Speed Test because I had that installed on my MacBook Pro 2012, but I did not have it on my Mac Pro 2013. And while we wait, I have to format this drive. As you know, the Mac Pro 2013 doesn't have USB-C. You're going to notice during some of these tests that the speeds were really slow for the reading and writing on this drive. I have an explanation that I will give near the end of the video as to why this is. During this test, the very slow ones, I used the 500 gigabyte ONN SSD. Then I swapped over to the 250 gigabyte ONN SSD, and the speeds on the ONN 250 gigabyte were the same as they were in the first review video. I went back to the 500 gigabyte ONN SSD, and it was still slow. So I found it odd how the 250 gigabyte and the 500 gigabyte were giving me different read and write speeds when I did the tests on the ONN portable SSD. And I came to find out that it is actually the fact that the cable that came with the 500 gigabyte, the USB-C to USB, was not giving me accurate readings on any of my computers, my MacBook Pro 2012, my Mac Pro 2013, and even my Windows computer, custom gaming computer. When I used the USB to USB-C, it was giving me slow reads and writes, but I just edited a couple of videos on my MacBook with it and exported 4K, the ones I'm filming now, and it's exporting in two and three minutes with supposed read and write speeds of 41 to 43 there's there's no way so i was thinking it might be the cable because when i swapped cables i was getting accurate write and read speeds around 400 to 415 and i'm thinking to myself is the cable itself bad or is it just not giving accurate readings at all then I tested it using the USB-C to USB-C that came with it, and I was getting the right speeds. I was getting 400 to 415 on the 500 gigabyte. So beware of that. Some of the cables that it comes with may be giving you inaccurate readings, but it still works. It still exports quickly. It's just giving these read and write programs inaccurate readings. And I even tried to... Um, transfer an 8 gigabyte Mac OS install file over to it and it was able to transfer it in 1 minute and 37 seconds using the bad cable. So, like I said, beware that some of the cables that come up with these ONN USB-C portable SSDs may be giving you inaccurate readings, but they are still fast.